Air reconnaissance reports concentrations of German supply vehicles moving on the road west of Przemysl. Each aircraft will carry eight Fab 100 general purpose bombs to deal with these targets. We will be accompanied by a fighter escort, I-16s from the 12th Guards Interceptor Regiment. The formation will bomb from an altitude of 1,900 meters to ensure accuracy. The town, river, and roads should be visible on the run-up to the target. That's all. Давай, мужики. Welcome aboard my Tupolev SB for the third mission of this SB career. Let's jump straight into starting up the aircraft. And I can talk a little bit about navigation to the target once we're underway. So, mixture, prop, radiator, full forward, throttles cracked. Mixture's auto rich. It should start, he says. And engine one roars to life. I'll make sure we're on the brakes. Engine two, start her up. Meantime, I'll make sure the tailwheel's locked and flaps are set for takeoff. I forgot flaps last time, although the SB seems quite capable of making flaps up takeoff. I might as well do things quote-unquote properly. I can't really say by the book, because I haven't been able to find the book for this airplane, so. Order. Yeah, I'll just double check that all those settings are synced up now that both engines are running. Shut the canopy. And I think we're good to roll, so set takeoff power. I'll also uh, pull up the map so I know where we're going after takeoff. Once again, our turn point is south of the river. This time we turn to a heading of 316, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself there. Okie dokie. Tail is up. Although tail, is, tail being up doesn't necessarily mean we have... Uh, flying speed yet. Uh, in real life, I saw a DC-3 take off the other day, and its tail lifted off the ground like literally one plane length into the takeoff roll, so that was pretty cool, but it took a while after that before it lifted off. So, fly 270 until we hit the river. Uh, I did bring the flaps up, yes, yes. And bring the power back until the rest of our aircraft are in the air. Once we hit that point, I can set climb power, and we can be on our way. Since I can't jump into the rear gunner's turret, I do have to use the external view to see what our remaining bombers are up to. Our trio is in the air, and the fighters are lifting off behind them. So those chaps should have no trouble catching up. So, good to set climb power as we make the turn. Uh, no real additional navigation items to mention today. Uh, no grand epiphanies about game or flight mechanics. Um, our target is kind of interesting because uh, Przemysl is kind of a famous fortress town and site of some pretty major battles in the early months of World War I. Uh, I do recommend looking into that, but it's a bit uh, outside the scope of what we're doing today. Anyway, I think that's just about our turn point, so I'll set climb power. And we'll make the turn. So just double check what that track was. 316. Uh, and we'll be looking out for the town of Orov on the climb as our first visual navigation checkpoint. So 310, 315, 316 or near enough. And I'll get the rudder trimmed for climb. And that's us on our way. I can't really think of any other uh, immediate items of note, so we'll head for the target. I'll probably check in with some items of navigational importance, but until then, uh, I shall be back. Hello, hello. Uh, just checking in here. We've just passed over Borislav, and I wanted to do a little bit of navigation work. So the first thing I will do is check in the bomb site by pointing it straight down if we need to do any drift correction. And it looks like 
not, or at least what very, very little drift I'm seeing across that line is a lot less than one degree, so I think I can leave it safely at zero. And the other item that I'm going to make sure I see to well in advance this time is the calculation of true airspeed. So judging by this thing down here, which is once again giving us 295 as our indicated airspeed, let's see, and at an altitude of 1,900 meters, which is about 6,300 feet, we have a temperature of about plus 8. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okie dokie, and once again I'm doing this with the E6B flight computer that's on the desk in front of me here. Uh, 295 comes out to a true airspeed of 310. Uh, less of a difference this time because we're at a lower altitude. The difference between indicated and true airspeed increases with altitude, all else being equal. And now I've also altered my controls for the bomb site. Uh, in terms of inputting data, because in both of the previous missions, I have accidentally fat-fingered the altitude section, or the altitude setting. Now, in the first mission, this actually saved our bacon because I had miscalculated and dropped the bombs late, but in principle, that's not really something we want to be happening. Anyway, that fork in the river looks like we are approximately here, so we're about to cross the front line. Uh, it's a little ways to the target yet. So, I don't think we really have any other navigation items to attend to until uh, we commence the bomb run. So, I will be back either when that happens or in the rather likely event that we encounter the enemy on the way. Welcome back. We can essentially consider ourselves to be commencing the bomb run up there. If you look at that sort of S-turn in the river up there, that is this right here, and we are allegedly looking for German vehicles on the road to the south of there. Now, the target, as described in the uh, actual in-game mission briefing, was pretty ambiguous, but it sort of sounded like concentrations of supply trucks. Maybe there's a depot there? I don't know. But in any case, we have it plainly in view, and we're pretty well set up to be able to hit anything we spot down there. If we don't see anything, I may loiter for a short time and search for additional targets, but uh, I'm not keen to go stooging around behind enemy lines any longer than I have to. Especially since, so far, we haven't spotted any fighters. Although I strongly suspect that we will in due time, but in any case, I'm going to take some measures preparatory to the bomb run. I'll check that my flight are in proper formation, because I've ordered them into a VIC, which is kind of the best bombing formation for a flight of three. Uh, I will open my bomb bay doors, and I will issue the order to uh, drop bombs on my command, and right on cue there are the German fighters. attacking from above, well, we do have I-16s overhead, which will hopefully tangle with them. I don't like their chances against 109s, especially 109Fs, which, based on the rounded wingtips, I think those are, but uh, if they can keep them busy long enough for us to hit our target, then that's probably about the best we can hope for. So, do we see anything down there? No. And I'm supposed to be looking... Huh. Actually, it's not entirely clear to me which bend in the road I'm meant to be looking near. But I think it's this one. Um, I'll back up in the cockpit and see if I can see anything more detailed than that. Oh dear. Gunners are opening up. Uh, it's a bit beyond my... Okay, I am wounded. We are taking fire from a German fighter. Fuel tank is leaking. I am going to drop out of formation, jettison the bombs, and we're going to go home. Dropping my bombs. Uh, honestly, if you guys can stay in formation, that's 
probably fine. Why? What's the heading towards home? 137 degrees. 135, 137. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, tracer's coming. Dive. I can barely maneuver. I counted being wounded. Uh, I'm just gonna follow this track back. So, oh, come on. One of you guys, please get that 109 off me. Uh, the good news is, there doesn't seem to be any engine damage. Which may facilitate us being able to get out of here. Okay, now I'm heading due south. I need to turn left a little. Uh, come back on to 137. Near enough. Ah, there we go. Assuming that my repeater compass is even still working, I'm going to continue to not fly straight and level so that I'm at least not a sitting duck for the next 109 that comes around. Uh, I don't suppose... Yeah, I still can't access the upper turret and that macro my throttle setting. Oops. Okay, but in terms of navigation, see those two islands there? Those are these here. We're heading in the right direction. Honestly, I just want to get back across the front line is my main priority. Which means I should probably actually bear left a little bit and try to gain the return track. Someone is on fire and bailing out. Um, as cynical as it sounds for me to say this, I hope it's a fighter. Because that means they're keeping the 109s busy and buying time for us to get away. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hit our target, but uh, I couldn't spot what our target was even intended to be, so... And I wasn't about to do that whilst wounded in a damaged aircraft. And my turn coordinator is broken. So I won't be able to rely on that on the way home. Uh, I don't see either of my other bombers, so it's possible they just lost place in formation. Ooh, we might be out of immediate trouble. We'll have to see. Um, okay, so to gain that track home, we aim for the edge of these islands here, and then when we hit that, turn to 137, should take us over Sambr, and then on over the front line, and theoretically on home. Uh, we'll see how that goes. All right.
Alright, I've managed, in company with one other bomber, which is currently in trail formation, to make it back to base. That is it down there. Landing might be a bit of an interesting issue on account of I've lost a lot of my flight instruments, including the airspeed indicator, so I'll have to do my best not to stall on landing, I suppose. So, for the benefit of, I guess, number three, who has survived. He can return to base and land independently. I will try not to block the runway with flaming wreckage. No guarantees, though. No instruments and being wounded. This could be ugly. Uh, also on the subject of being wounded, it's entirely possible that that jumps us uh, ahead quite a ways in the timeline, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's all a bit secondary right now, so gear down. Flaps. Don't appear to be working, but we've got green lights on the landing gear. So we'll just have to do a high speed gear up landing. It's entirely possible that the flaps have been shot away. Uh, we'll have to see about that, but I'm sure a survivable landing is possible without them. So, uh, here it goes. Feel kind of fast, although maybe not, because I'm throttled back a decent ways. Hard to say. All by the seat of the old... Stenier. Check that the tailwheel is locked, which it is. Okay. I'm feeling decent about this, he says. Oh, the nose is dropping. Ooh! Okay, we bounced. Keep some speed up so we don't just plummet back into the ground. Uh, alright, but you gotta get her on the ground here. Use some of that trim there. Ooh! -ee. I think we were faster than I thought. Oh, we're gonna get into a bit of a porpoise here if we don't get slowed down. Okay, get onto the brakes as much as I can without burying the nose. Uh, vacate off to the left. Okay, made it back. Engine's off, open the canopy. And I'm blocking the taxiway, but frankly, I don't care. Fuel's still leaking, but uh, we made it back uh, irrespective of that. And number three has as well. But, uh, I do believe it is time to head to the debrief, which will probably make for sobering reading. Let's see. Yes, I was indeed wounded. Uh, let's see, we lost... Two planes in this mission. Is that all? Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the I-16s was shot down, and one of my bombers was shot down, but bailed out. Behind enemy lines, though, so he's a POW. And... Mladši uh, Litman Sergeyev. Shared a kill with an I-16 on one of those 109s, so I guess one of his gunners got lucky. And he's the one who made it home with us, so... Huh. Hang on, this is saying our side has lost... Uh, our side has lost 11 planes. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what to make of all of this. I mean, the summation of this mission was... We were sent on what was effectively a search and destroy mission for a target that I couldn't see in an airplane that wasn't really equipped for it. So when we took damage and I was wounded, really the only logical decision was to abort. I, I'm, I'm not really sure what else to add to that. Uh, but the Germans definitely won this round uh, today. Anyway... 
uh, more missions will be to come since we've made it back, possibly later on in the timeline of the war since I was wounded. It's not entirely clear how much time I will spend infirm in the hospital. But uh, all that will become clear in the next mission, which will be in the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching and toodles.